Welcome guys to TechPress. Let's guide you through the process of creating a user manual using Document 360. So whether you're a small business owner, a tech enthusiast, a producer, documentation specialist, let's see how we can get started. First of all, and really easy is to sign up and to log in. So I'm gonna head into document360.com. I'm gonna choose the option that says a free trial. So Document 360 is a great application. Show that this one has an actual free trial in order to continue. Now it's gonna be asking you to create an actual new project. For that, let's get into get started. In this case, it's gonna be asking us to set up your actual profile. I can strongly recommend you to use the actual logo of your store in order to create your actual account. Then hit your first, hit last name, and here you can add the basic information about yourself. For example, the basic details. So here in this case, I'm gonna choose the name for the knowledge base and the relevant subject domain. In this case, I'm gonna go for the product name, which is the card and call. Now, as you can see here is the subdomain. We can change this domain later, for example, docs.addyourdomain.com. In this case, I'm gonna just leave this as it is and hit in into next. Now, here in the editor, it's gonna be choosing a default article editor. So you can choose the advanced uh, WYCWYG, which is gonna be helping you to format experiences for text, imaging, videos, markdown, keyboard, and so much more. If you don't know absolutely anything of adding stuff here and you want to simply edit that relies into a markdown formatting stuff and a clean editor look, then choose the option that says the markdown. Now here it's gonna be asking us for a design. So here in the design, what you want to do is to choose the actual logo. In this case, I can hit into changed and I can choose my own logo. And then it's gonna be asking you for the color. You can choose for a specific color. In this case, I'm gonna go for something like this and the secondary color let's go for something related into my brand after that what you can do is to hit now into next and you have now the access in this case since we want to create an actual knowledge base access type and not anyone can access my site i only wanted to invite people with the actual link that i'm going to be sending them so in this case i'm going to choose private and lastly i can hit now into create and my product is now being created now, let's configure your project. So after you have created your project, you'll be taken to the project dashboard. So here into the dashboard, you can configure your product settings. You can set your product logos where you see the, the colors and other branding elements to match your company style. So in this case, it's gonna be showing us how we can get started with the actual portal of the document 360. Now that we are in here, what you can do is to get started with categories and articles. For example, here, why this document 360 was built in. So you can check that out, all the actual article, uh, sa five basic things to get started by basic and basic settings and so much more elements. So now let's focus into the dashboard once again. You can see that we have here the contribution and I can configure my project by structuring my manual. So first of all, what I want to do is to focus into the documentation into the lab hot. Now here into the left hand menu, you'll see options to the add categories and of course subcategories. Think of these as the chapters and sections of your manual. So create categories for each major part of your product and the services. So you focus here, what you can see is that we have the categories and articles. So I have an actual side builder. So for the structure of the manual, let's first of all create our very first article. And as you can see, we have the custom site, analytics, settings, the glossary, and so much more. I'm gonna add a new category, and I'm gonna choose an article from a template. So in this case, enter the title of your article, such as the getting started or the installation guide, for example. I'm gonna go for installation guide. Now here, I'm gonna choose the next category on the, in this case, it's, let's say for example, something like getting started. And the template name, you can manage all the templates and of course check out the templates that were created, yes, and all of that. So in this case, we have an error code, a glossary, and all of that. So I can create a new template, but in this case, I'm gonna stick around with a glossary template. Now, let's use the actual editor to edit our actual article. We can add code snippet, we can add images, videos, and other stuff to make it easy to create details and visually appealing articles. So, as you can see here is the actual glossary of my 
theme, so I can choose and haze my knowledge base by adding the glossary to help the readers understand. Here's my glossary page, adding the glossary terms, what is the content tools, the adding the multiple glossary terms, and so much more. So what I can do is to try to change the stuff here as I am just getting started. So since I am actually talking about the getting started into Document 360, we have just generated something here really easy. For example, getting started with Document 360. In this case, this is my actual heading. So I choose to make this my heading. So I'm going to just use this element. I can click in here and this is my heading number two. So check out how it's actually looking into the right part. So now here it says, what is document 360? Let's go for heading number three, the key features of my document. And this is what I'm actually doing here, customizing all the stuff as I am just getting started on. Now, let's scroll a little bit down here. I'm gonna choose getting started. Step number one, dashboard overview. Now, if you want to maintain consistency, you can use the template for articles that follows a similar structure. So Document 360 offer customizable templates you can use for various section if you manual need it to show. So this actually saves you time and ensures uniformity across your documentation. So you can focus once again into the left part. And here you have categories and articles. So I have something about analytics. Here is my documentation about analytics. Here's my documentation about customizing an action site. Here's my documentation about settings, for example, knowledge base site setting, understanding the glossary, understanding how to use these and that and those. And that is how we can actually use those elements to, uh, let's say, edit our articles. Now, what I just needed to do is to add some multimedia if you think that you're actually ready to. So let's go back here into my glossary. Here is the actual article that appears here into this orange color. That means that this is an actual draft. So what I need to do is to add just a few images to make this a little bit much more intuitive. So I'm going to just use this to end toast and let's incorporate multimedia elements to enhance our YouTube manual. So just upload images and build the videos, add screenshots to provide visual aid to your users. Now, this is just an example, but I just wanted to check out how it actually looks to your images when you import them. And if you wanted to change the height and the weight, you can just select those colors, those elements to check out how it actually looks. You can edit the height and the width uh, to make this a little bit much more. Let's go for 100 by 100 and check out how it actually looks a little bit much more smaller. It's going to be really great to organize all this stuff. And let's, let's review and collaborate. So before publishing review your articles, you can just go directly inside the previous section and check out how it actually looks into a whole new segment. So you can invite team members to review, to edit the content. Uh, so this one is gonna be ensuring accuracy and completeness when it's checking out all the elements you can just create. So check out how it actually looks, it's really great so far. So if you think this one is actually good for you, let's go back, let's go into published, and here we can enter a comment if you want to. We can configure the article settings by choosing different text, the CEO descriptions, related articles, and the status indicator. So in this case, let's go for something new because this is my very first article. If you want to make some different updates or something customizable, you can just do that in this case. In this case, we're just focusing into brand new. And now as you can see, this one is actually published. So I can copy this link and anyone who checked out this actual link from Cotton Co, which is the actual uh, ownership of my knowledge best, we are now ready to go. In this case, my knowledge base verification should be verificated back here into the documentation and make sure that we can just make the choosing a plan in order to have this uh, totally live. And lastly, to share the link to the user menu with my audience and easy access by URL. And well guys, that's it for today's tutorial on, on creating a user manual document 360. If you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to TechPress for more TechPress and tutorials. Have any questions or topics you'd like to see each other, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys, see you next time.